What is going on guys, my name is Shane Kuro and I am back from retirement, from the dead, to show you guys how to play emulators or Steam games with your 3DS. Now to do this is pretty simple, but you know, it's not too complicated. What you want to do is head over to the link down in the description down below and click on here. After that, click on the zip file, the image, and once you're done with that, download VJoy. Now with the zip folder, it will come up with these two folders, PC and 3DS. What you want to do is go on the 3DS config file on the thingamajigger. If you have a new 3DS, I recommend you swapping these two out, but, you know, I digress. Next up, is you go on to the 3DS folder, go on over here, and make sure that your IP address is the same on your PC, it's the same as the one over here. Once you've done that, Save and get exit. If you if you're not sure what your IP address on, is on your computer, is go over here to this executable file and look over to the IP address located down here. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna want to download Joyd Key. Joyd Key is basically a program that you know self-explanatory uses your joysticks and converts them to keyboard shortcuts. Let's pardon for the background noise. Now once you download Joyd Key. That link is also going to be in the description down below. You're going to launch the application. When you launch the application, it's going to show up like this. Alright, so you're going to typically leave that open. Now, what you want to do is open, uh, search up VJoy and click on Configure VJoy. Make sure the number of buttons is set to 16, apply, and exit. Now you're pretty much set. Now all you have to do is move the files from your 3DS folder into your, into the root of your SD card. Now to do so, you go on. To, I'm gonna use this folder to emulate how my SD card looks. Go to the root of your SD card and drag this 3DS controller file into the root of your SD card. Now go to the homebrew folder thing and make a new folder called 3DS controller, like so. Now go into that folder you just created and drag these two files. Once you've done that, eject the SD card, go to your DS, inject it, inject the SD card to your DS, launch homebrew, and then you can see a new application called the 3DS controller. Launch that. And once you have it launched, it's gonna show up with a black screen. Now what you wanna do is go to this executable file again and make sure that it is now on. Now for to double sure to make to double check if it is connected to my PC, I'm gonna exit out and connect back to the application. And it's gonna tell me that the 3DS is now connected to the Thingma Jigger. And now to see if it actually is, I go to Joy Key and press random keys and see that it is now connected. Now I'm gonna hop over to Notepad and see that all the um, characters are now being transferred to notepad. Um, do not save. So yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Now let's see if how it will work on Desume. I'm gonna play some Fire Emblem. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, you know what? Config, uh, emulation settings, control config, buttons up. I already have that up. Left down, B. I'm gonna set that to a. no, no, no. Set that to B. Set this to X. Y. Wait, what? Y. X. Start is enter. I believe start is already entered by default on the 3DS application thing. Select is. I'm gonna have it like that. L. R. Up right, up left. Ooh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Oh well, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna open the ROM, go to Fire Emblem, and open it. Now, we should be able to, you know, play, play our emulators. And boom. Turn on the volume so I can hear myself. And as you can see, it works flawlessly. 
so I'm gonna hop out of here. I'm actually gonna play it on myself because I haven't played this Fire Emblem yet, but I do own it on my 3DS. Well, DSi. I just never bought. I just never bothered to play with it because I had uh, which one it? Some other games. Anyway, aside from that, that's pretty much it. I think it's gimmick to be honest. It's only really good for emulators for on your PC and maybe some light gaming on Steam if you don't have a PS3 or Xbox 360 controller already. So, you know, that's it. That's pretty much the tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Shinkuro, and I'm logging out. Peace.